Yeah. All right, Chris, what's going on, man? How, How are you doing? So Chris is a barber. He already got a taper because he didn't think I was going to be able to cut his hair. But So what are we going to do differently? Going to do a mid-fade. Mid-fade? Yeah. Right. You, you want anything off the top at all? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Little bit? Just clean it up. All right, cool. I don't really want to uh, like drop it in the back, kind of like straight back. OK, you don't want to drop it. You want it straight back? You yeah. Say? OK, cool. Let's do it, bro. YouTube what is going on guys today we got another haircut tutorial for you I was sectioning his hair um, the way I think it should have kind of flowed and he was just kind of like hey man I don't really I don't really part my hair or anything like that I just kind of let it flow so we actually went away with the whole sectioning thing and um, we just started cutting everything um, about a half inch off through the top cutting cutting it straight up using our first cut in the front of his of of his head um, as our guide for the rest of the length of the cut now his hair was definitely difficult um, he wanted the ball fade to go straight back um, and typically when you go straight back like that, it's typically typically always going to look kind of like a mid-high fade, um, which is fine. That's the look that he wanted to go with. So here I'm just kind of connecting the work that we did on top over to the sides by bringing everything um, to that, to the side, and then cutting it straight across, cutting it squared. All right, so at this point, I'm just kind of making sure the perimeter is um, all an even length. The fringe was was even as well. And now we're going to go ahead and put in the initial guideline going straight back, just like he requested. Now, his hair, you can tell it's going to be a tough texture of hair to cut. Um, just looking at the parietal ridge where hair texture like his tends to be very hard to control and to manage you can see it's already looking kind of um what's the word i'm looking for choppy ish right it's just his hair texture it's going to be a challenge um but we're gonna do the best that we can and that's the thing with this channel man we don't look for the best canvases if you book an appointment with me nine times out of ten i'm cutting your hair the only way i'm not cutting your hair is if i cut your hair already or um it just doesn't make sense for the channel because you don't got no hair i don't know something like that I feel bad saying it but you guys know what i mean i don't mean nothing mean about it all right so we we <laughs> we start off with the blade all the way open and then we start to fade it out so the way that i faded out on him was i just had the clipper all the way closed and I just opened it up notch by notch a quarter of an inch up um, after a quarter of an inch up. On this side, we decided to fade down and you can do that. You could do the same exact thing the opposite way. So you can start with the blade open and close it a quarter, um, close it a notch every quarter of an inch you go down until that bottom line that you started off with with the trimmer until that's gone. And I really want to make sure that this section is nice and clean before we move on. Hey guys, and just so you know, the new wall, uh, not the new, but the, the wall eco batteries, some of you guys have been waiting on them, you've ordered them. They will be back in stock. They will be shipping tomorrow and then they'll be back in stock this weekend. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on the 245 Eco batteries, which are installed in these clippers as well, um, they will be in stock this weekend. So look out for that. Um, 
Make sure you get yours before they're sold out. All right, so here what I decided to do was go with the one open and just kind of freehand up off of his parietal ridge. With this texture of hair, hair especially, you can really get away with it um, because the hair is so straight. And so a lot of this challenge is going to be getting rid of that hard ridge and that choppiness right at the parietal ridge. The fade part is easy. It's that, that cliff almost on the parietal ridge that's going to be hard to soften um, without killing the gradients of the fade. So once we've done the one open, we'll follow it up with the half guard all the way open and close it little by little until it's blended. And this should really finish off most of the fade. But again, we're going to have to go back detail and definitely work on that parietal ridge. And if you don't know, if you're new to cut your hair, the parietal ridge is where the sides start to curve into the top. Okay, so I'm going to start to attempt to try to soften it with my blending shears because with my blending shears, you you, you can it's forgiven, it's it's forgivable, right? Like it's it's not like regular shears. Once you cut, you're done. With blending shears, you can kind of cut in the same area for a little bit and not necessarily cut length, um, but soften things up, and that really didn't do the job. Um, and even underneath where I was trying to soften a little bit, it, it had some dark spots. So I'm going back with that one and a half guard to clean it up. So now my next attempt is this number four guard to soften it up. And I'm not going to cap, bro. Like I'm, I'm literally doing trial and error. I've never cut his hair before. Um, and 9.5 out of 10 of the people that you see me cut on this channel, I've never cut before. So sometimes you got to do trial and error. And what I, that's what I typically do on the first side that i cut i'm learning the canvas and i'm gonna be real with you his hair was stubborn it was very stubborn and um but you know what i'm what i want to do is tell you guys kind of the trial and error and then tell you guys what i would have done differently um had i um had i cut his hair again so so i think it's starting to come out pretty good i will say this i would have done the c cup and the vertical bar before um before detailing the fade so i probably once i did the the bald line and then the one open i probably would have lined up the c cup and the vertical bar that way i can control the blend and keep into consideration i want to keep that line sharp so underneath that number four where i left off i'm working with that number three and then that two open that two closed Man, I'm really trying to make this transition as seamless as possible, but it it was work. And one thing about me, guys, I've never claimed to be the best Bob in the world. I'm just, I'm definitely very passionate about, about barbering, and uh, I'm always learning, man. It's been over 10 years I've been cutting hair. And there isn't a canvas I feel like I haven't learned something new. You know what I mean? Um, that's just how it is. Because every client that sits in your, t in your chair, they're so unique. It's almost like a fingerprint, man. Everybody has a uniqueness to them. So, you know, it's once you lock them in, that's a little bit different. It's easier to get them done in 30 minutes or less. But that first time you cut their hair and you're learning their hair, man, it can take a little bit, man. Especially if you... If you if you're trying to master that canvas, you feel me? All right, so just like the other side, we're using our one and a half guard to really kind of clean up the dark spots right beneath that ridge. I got my two guard kind of locking in between that one and a half that three all right we're right back to that one guard open and so from here on out it's going to be a lot easier because i know now from that one guard open 
I get to use the half guard and then start to take out that bottom line. Here we go. We got the half guard. And I'm actually starting on this side. I'm starting off with the half guard closed. And I'm going to open it up little by little until it's all the way open. And once it's all the way open, the face should be done. I may need to slap that one guard back on just in case I go up a little bit too high in certain areas and create another line. But since we left off with that one guard, it should blend right in. If it doesn't, no worries. We know right away, boom. We put this one guard, it's closed right now. Now it's open and that's going to really bring this blend together. But yeah, his hair was, man. If you, if you, if you can feel me, please, please let me know in the comments, man. Make me feel better about this. <laughs> I was saying the other day in a, a live. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. We do live streams all the time. And I was talking about the live stream, like guys, look, I've done 700 and something videos on YouTube. And sometimes you guys try to compare me to Instagram, people on Instagram who have 70 haircut photos that are like the best of the best they've ever done, cleaned up, you know, use a little bit of Photoshop, perfect lighting and stuff. And, um, you know, it's just kind of apples and oranges. And the only reason why I share that is because it's the same thing when you're trying to compare your cuts to mine, especially if you're a beginner, man, like, look, you get to see every haircut you do the good the bad the ones you struggle with all that good stuff right um a lot of my cuts man were were especially in the beginning were clients that i've been cutting for the longest and that i'm not gonna say they were highlight tapes but man I've, I've 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 had a shot at cutting their hair and then same thing with 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 today a lot of people that let me cut their hair now on youtube it's because they feel confident about themselves um but i have a lot of clients that pay me a hundred dollars for a haircut that i've never recorded before that's looking pretty blurry damn that's looking clean right there i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie it's looking real clean okay um but <laughs> um my point is man is is to tell you guys like stop comparing yourself to other barbers or comparing other barbers to other barbers man what you got to do is look at the man in the mirror, get better every day, study every barber that you admire, understand that you're looking at their trophies, you're looking at their highlight tapes. Shout out to Dre, he really hit, uh, he really punched Fonz in the face. Yo Fonz, if you don't know, because um, Dre said that to him, yo, that's people, they only show their trophies. Like you, you really sh seeing people's highlight tapes. Um, and like even mine, mine are not highlight tapes, I always show you guys my imperfections and stuff, but... I do get confident clients where I remember being in the shop and most of my clients were number two or number one on the sides and a comb over with a side part. How many tutorials can I do on that? I can't cut all of them and put them, make a video about that. A lot of my clients were, you know, a low Caesar or a half with a ball fade and a really and a beard. Um, some of my clients were hot towel shaves. Like you didn't get to see. You wasn't in the gym shooting. You feel me? You only saw game day. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, I'm just sharing that because some of you guys are a little too hard on yourselves. Cool. So we're doing a lot of uh, final touches. And guys, this is the before. Now let's look at the after. So definitely one of my tougher clients to cut. In a, in a minute I feel like the fade still came out gradient he wanted he didn't really want to comb over he wanted kind of like a, a like a texture I don't know I, he didn't even want a side part so we did what we could with with the top and um, I feel happy about the finished results I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned something um, let me know in the comments if you liked it we drop daily content on this channel I'll see you tomorrow